Giving your cat medicine or trimming their nails isn't always easy, but this is the best thing I've found. Hi everybody, my name's Jason and welcome to Cats and Pats. So, being a cat owner, chances are one day you're gonna have to give your cat like a pill or liquid medicine or maybe IV fluids, something along those lines. Now you and me, we know kitties. We love them, we know they can be like wily or rascally. We also know if they don't wanna do something, they don't want to do it, and they're quick to slip away from you. And I would say 99 out of 100 times, your cat doesn't like taking medicine. So today, I want to introduce you to the best thing I've found so far, if you find yourself in that circumstance. And that would be the towel wrap method, or maybe even the scarf wrap method. I kind of see both names. Hey, Bugga. Hey, kid. She doesn't know what's coming. Even if you aren't actively giving your cats medicine right now, you should probably keep on watching because there's a number of things you can do to make your life a lot easier in the future. So yeah, right quick before we get into the actual wrap, a couple things you can do to help yourself out. So like we've talked before about in some of my previous videos, what we want to do is get positive association going with your cat. In this case, your cat and a towel. I can tell you that I didn't do this, and so now whenever I put Luna on a towel, she knows something is up. We want to avoid that. So what does your cat like? Treats or wet food? Get some of that, put it on a plate. Then go ahead and put your towel down, put the treats right in front, set your cat on the towel, let them munch away and just be happy. If your cat likes playing with toys, put them on the towel, play with some toys in front of them. We just want happiness and towel together. Going a little bit further with that, like while your cat is eating or playing, you can try to like drape the towel across their back and then just keep on patting them and loving on them and let them walk out of it. This is laying down the seeds for the future. However, chances are you're like me and you didn't think about this until it was medicine time. But this is pretty quick to learn, so here goes. I'll try to describe it somewhat in words before getting one or two of my cats to actually show you what happens. And this is where my towel wrap video will actually probably stand out more because most of the ones I've watched have very cooperative cats and I know of at least one cat who's not very cooperative. I almost forgot, don't just check out my video. I'll link a couple other good videos in the doobly-doo below along with some websites that just have pictures and kind of walks you through it. They're really good at demonstrating like hand placement and arm placement as you're doing the process, and different people will have slightly different tips and methods. So yeah, be sure to check those out too. So pro tip, bigger towels like big beach towels or like big bath towels are better. Also, thick is good because it offers you some protection on your arms and hands and stuff. Ideally, when you do this, your cat should be comfy and secure. Not trying to record anything, huh? But yeah, your cat should be secure and kind of bundled up and not struggling too much. But your mileage may vary with that. Alright, so here's what you're going to do. First, get your towel and lay it out flat. Once again, I'm just going to do some words right now before I try it with cat. Normally she runs away from the towel, so this is kind of throwing me off right now. So yeah, towel down flat. You can fold it in half if you want to, hot dog style. Don't touch the hamburger style. But really, I don't worry about that. Next, get your cat and place them a few inches away from the front of the towel and like a foot away from the side. Now, if your cat knows what's up and they see you're kind of stressed out, they may immediately start scrambling around and kind of kick the towel out. In the past, I've used my knees or maybe my legs to kind of hold it down so it might just get like this on here. That way the towel can't go anywhere. Just know that if you do that, eventually you're going to have to kind of shimmy your way off of it. So when you put your cat down, you're going to use like one arm to kind of gently but firmly hold your cat in place. You can even grab their scruff a little bit if you have to. Next, you're going to bring the short end around their back and around their front, kind of like you're putting on a scarf. So yeah, with this other towel I have here, it's going to be coming around their neck and up front and kind of around their back. And it'll be over top of their arms to kind of hold them down. Then, you're going to get the far side of the towel, wrap it all the way around their back again, around their front like you're doing another part of the scarf. Ideally, where the two edges meet will be kind of the same place. That way you can kind of hold them together with one hand. From that point, you'll have access to their eyes and ears and mouth. So if you have to do pills or eye drops or anything like that, it should be relatively easy. There are also some other variants where you can like wrap them around so you have like one arm sticking out or the back paw sticking out. And if you search something like modified scarf, Wrap. There's a lot of good videos and websites and stuff that can help you out with that. Alright, so let's see this in action. Luna here got a lot of meds as a kitten, and we tried doing this towel wrap thing with her because she was getting stuff in the mornings and at nights, and she started kind of hating the towel. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I have Sarah recording, that way we can be kind of on the same level here. So let me first slide my kitty over. Hey, I think she might know something's up. Alright, so here we go. We get our kitty cat. Okay, now that something's up, kind of put her pretty close to the towel. And you can kind of use one hand to 
kind of hold her in place. If you have a scruff on you can do that. Luna, I love you. I know this isn't happy. This isn't happy face. So you get this over the back. I already messed it up. I need more room over here. Maybe a little bit more than a foot. So I'm going to slide my kitty cat over a little bit more. Kind of push her down. Wrap around them. Ooh. This is where you might have to do your shimmy shake to kind of get off there. So you want the towel to go under their neck, but still in front of their paws. And she doesn't look very happy. Hey honey. Even still, I probably could have given myself a little bit more room than I have. So you go back over top with the other side. All the way around. Got a shimmy shake in front of her. And boom, there you have a nice bundled little kitty. And she is a lot less resistant than she normally is. And yeah, she seems pretty happy right now, although she doesn't look the most happy. From this point, you can kind of hold them with one hand pretty easily. So that's nice if you have like a pill popper or you're just trying to throw it in, eye drops, anything like that. If you want to, you can usually access the back legs by kind of lifting up the towel. Also in doing this in the past, we've also sat like this, that way your cat can't sit there and like shovel back out of the towel. But yeah, with two people, it's especially nice. You can just kind of hold on to them in a little bundle. It works out great. And then once you're done, you just kind of unwrap them. Honey, I told everybody that you were going to be like the angry resistant cat. Well, I can't believe that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try some of my other cats and maybe see how that goes. Alright, so on a cat too. Let's see how you do. We just gotta get up from underneath the desk. Let's get out there. <laughs> <laughs> They're so helpful today. Come here. Or take a bath. Big Orange does not like cat carriers, but other than that, I can usually do whatever I want with her. So, we'll see. All right, Porn G. Let's see. Oh, that's something you have to watch out for. So you have a resistant cat. Try to kind of hold him in place a little bit. Go wrap around. Yeah, honey. Wrap around the front. Flop around here. Oh, 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 there we go. That's okay. Kind of wrap around. Once again, I can almost hold her in place like this. She's kind of standing up, but she can't really go very many places. Hey, honey. She doesn't even care. Okay, so if you have a cat that struggles with bites a lot, two people is always better. Just try to be as calm as you can, but still be firm when you're doing this. Okay, she's ready to go. Okay. So this towel is like four feet wide, sir? No. How long is this? Probably about four, but I don't know. Something like that. It's I, would say, I think it's shorter than average. Yeah, I'd say try to get a longer towel. I thought I'd grab on our longer towels, but I think I'd grab on our shorter towels. Yeah, that's one of mine from college, so they're they're not extra large or anything by any means. Yeah, see? Yeah, this one's a lot better, so use your big towel. All right, one more kitty. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Mr. Moo. Now, Moo Moo. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Moo. Just wrap you up. A nice little burrito. Okay. There's something's up. That's okay. That's okay. Ideally, you don't want them standing up with their paws like this because then they start pushing. So if you have to, you kind of hold them down a little bit before you do your first wave. Okay, no. You're being an example. You're being an example. So around the front. Paws still underneath. You can see he started backing up, which is why it's nice to be right behind him. Or if you're doing it against a wall, you don't want them just to be able to back up and get out easy. Mimu isn't happy, so I want to keep this short. Once again, front paw is nice and secure, but he's ready to go. Hi, Mel. Sorry, Mel. I don't know if he didn't like that, or maybe because the towel is slightly wet too. So, sorry, Mel. So as you can see, I'm no real expert when it comes to really executing the towel wrap, but I can do it well enough that it makes my life a lot easier. And that's all you really have to be able to do. Luna came and visited me like a minute later, so she's not too mad about it. It's really nice because it offers a lot of protection from you getting clawed, and it kind of keeps your kitty nice and bundled up. Not to mention they look kind of cute like a little kitty burrito. So yeah, check out the videos in the description below, especially if you have a really resistant cat and you want to know like how you should have one arm versus another arm and like where to put your hands and all. Some of the vet groups and humane society groups do this every single day. And if you have any tips for doing this sort of thing, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always trying to learn more stuff like this. And if this is your first time here, I make a new cat video every week. Informational stuff, DIY stuff, kind of everything. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.